Now to the other major story tonight, the war in Ukraine and Russia tonight saying Ukraine tried to assassinate Vladimir Putin. Russia claiming to have foiled a Ukrainian drone attack that they say was trying to kill the leader. Pointing to the video that they say is a drone flying toward the Kremlin then exploding over the Russian Senate building. Video circulating online appears to show the dome on fire. President Zelensky in Finland saying, quote, we don't attack Putin or Moscow. We fight on our own territory, defending our villages and cities. Tonight, what the Biden administration is now saying amid real questions about who orchestrated this and who was able to capture those video images in the middle of the night. ABC's Marcus Moore in Ukraine tonight. Tonight, those stunning images showing apparent drones exploding over the Kremlin. Video posted by state media of the moment the first drone smashed into the Senate Palace Dome around 2.27 in the morning. 16 minutes later, a second drone exploding as it approached the Russian flag. Smoke billowing from the scene. Russia tonight accusing Ukraine of an assassination attempt on Vladimir Putin, who was not there, calling it, quote, a planned terrorist attack and saying it intercepted both drones using radar warfare systems, the Kremlin providing no evidence to back up its claims, but also issuing an ominous warning, saying Russia has the right to retaliate where and when it sees fit. President Zelensky today in Finland fiercely denying Ukraine's involvement. We don't attack Putin or Moscow. Uh, we fight on, on our territory. We are defending our villages and cities. We don't have you know, enough weapon for this. Secretary Blinken today questioning Russia's claims. I would take anything coming out of the Kremlin with a very large shaker of salt. Among the possible scenarios, did Ukraine order the attack? Was it conducted by a pro-Ukrainian group inside Russia, or was it the Russians who put the drones up themselves to make it look like Ukraine attacked them? Ukraine had the motive and the means to conduct this attack. It could be a false flag, but it would end up hurting Putin and his reputation more than it would help him. This coming after multiple attacks inside Russia, including drone strikes on oil depots and two train derailments on back-to-back -back days. So let's get right to Marcus Moore. He is live in Ukraine tonight. And Marcus, as you know, there was a closed-door briefing on Capitol Hill late today. Senators in both parties uh, briefed on all of this. And what are we hearing so far? Well, David, the Senate Intelligence Committee just receiving that briefing, and Senator Mark Warner saying that there is no indication that this, quote, came from Ukrainian forces that we are aware of. And late today, David, the U.S. Embassy in Kyiv warning Americans in the region to be on high alert for Russian retaliation. David. Marcus Moore with late reporting from inside Ukraine. Marcus, thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.